Hello and welcome to my little how-to in how to turn a Toshiba M10 into a Chromebook. This video goes pretty fast. Uh, you will need a Windows or Mac computer, an 8 gig or larger USB drive, a Toshiba M10 laptop, and some patience. So let's just get right into it. Arnold, Arnold the Bat is the nickname of a, a guy who's developing and uh, compiling the code for uh, Google Chromium and giving it to the public. Chrome OS is free from Google. And he's got all sorts of recent posts and news items. But we're just going to go ahead and we're going to click on Chromium OS because that's where we want to go. He does give some basic instructions. Um, all of his downloads are available at this one link right here. And uh, like I said, there's some basic instructions if you scroll down. Uh, but let's just get right into it. You're going to need a program that writes a disk image. So that's item number two in his instructions here. So I'll just open this up in the background. We'll get to that in a second. But what we actually need is we need a disk image. These disk images are released daily or weekly. He also has ones called special, but they've not been updated in a long time. And we're just going to go into the dailies because we want the most recent one. Now computers have different processors, so you can have three different types of images here. The Toshiba M10s are a 64-bit processor, so we are going to grab the image file that says 64 in it. So AMD 64, and we're going to cl click on the most recent one. So you can see that they all have a date released. So here's October 20th, for example. And I'm going to scroll down here to November 7th and take the latest one. You want the file that ends in IMG.7zip or 7z. So we'll save that to our computer. And while that's saving, I'll just go over here to that image writer tab that I'd opened up before. This program will take that IMG file and it will uh, turn it into a USB disk for you. So we'll just click on the external downloads link like I showed you there and we'll save that program to our hard drive and we'll wait for them to download. I'm gonna speed up the video here so that they download really quickly and BAM! Alright so like any other program out there we're going to install the image writer program. Now I've already got it installed so I'm not gonna bother but you would go next, next, yes and away you go. Then we have to unzip or unarchive the actual disk image. So you can use your favorite unarchiver. I use WinRAR. They suggest 7-zip, but it's totally up to you. And you'll save that uh, IMG file to your hard drive somewhere. Now that we've got the image writer application open and plugged in our USB disk, no, I don't want to format my USB disk, it shows that my USB is uh, drive letter E here. And I'm going to select the uh, disk image, the IMG file that I just unzipped. And I put it in here. Here it is. And now I'm going to write that to my USB drive. And it gives me a warning. This will destroy your USB. It'll overwrite everything. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now this video does go really fast, as I said at the beginning. But you can always rewind it. And uh, feel free to email me, ask me questions in the comments, whatever. I just didn't want a 20-minute video. All right, so it's done, so we'll click on OK. Now we have a USB drive, so we will exit out of the image writer, and we will safely eject the USB and switch over to our Toshiba M10. And because I don't have the ability to record the screen, I am now using a camcorder. So we'll boot up our Toshiba M10 from the USB drive. If you need help figuring out how to do that, uh, just give me uh, give me a shout in the comments or something like that. But once we boot up from the USB drive here, we'll see that it's booting directly into Chromium. You could actually run from the USB if you want to, but that's not what we're going to do. So once it's booted up, we have no mouse. We have to use the tab key to tab down to turn on the network. So we'll hit space bar, select the network we want, enter in the appropriate password, and connect to our Wi-Fi. Now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi, we're going to hit Control alt f 2 That gets us to a terminal window. We had to turn on the Wi-Fi because we need the internet. I just want to clarify that you only have to run this script part that I'm about to show you once on the USB. Then you can install from the USB as many times as you want without having to run this script every time. You only have to do this next uh, little part once when you're booted from the USB. We're going to log into the developer side of things here. So it's asking us for a username. The username is Kronos. I'll go ahead and type that in. 
and the password is password so you should definitely change that and there's instructions on how to change that we're gonna run sudo su this is super user do become the super user so um, the password is also password not very protected I know and this is the long command you want to type in this is the command that will give us a touchpad so our mouse will start to work and it will also fix a couple other items like flash and uh, PDF viewing and things like that so this script was put together by a couple people and then I modified it to also include the touchpad stuff you want to type all that in when you hit enter it's gonna run it's gonna download a whole bunch of stuff here just let it happen I'm gonna speed the video up it's about 50 megs worth of stuff and then it has to install it as well once you get to this point here where it says flash plugin successfully extracted that's gonna sit there that's gonna sit there for quite a while um, just let it happen it's installing to your USB disk so USB disks are not that fast uh, I wish it gave progress but it doesn't and we're waiting for it to say that it's done and that it's going to restart in five seconds and there we go restarting UI in five seconds this will not reboot the whole computer it'll just reboot Chrome from the USB or a chrome chromium I should say from the USB disk and voila we're at the login window again now we're not going to sign into chromium we're gonna go back to the dev screen control alt F2 and we're gonna log in again the idea here is we don't want to run from the USB we want to install it so we're gonna log in with Kronos and password we're gonna become the super user again use the password again as password and we're going to type in this lovely string chrome os install double dash dst dst stands for destination and we're installing it to the device um, sda which is essentially your first hard drive um, if you want to learn more about that stuff it's qu a quick google but once you hit that hit enter and it's going to ask if you're sure and we are sure and it's going to overwrite the hard drive on the m10 and this takes about five minutes it creates 12 partitions and copies a whole bunch of stuff you might see some warnings about the GPT tables don't worry about that at all don't worry about any of the warnings and then when it's done I've sped this up when it's done it'll tell you to shut down remove the USB um, I don't tend to shut down I tend to reboot and then just remove the USB once the machine is rebooting but you can go ahead and you can also hold down the power button if you want to but the the key here is remove the USB once the computer's off there we go so I've removed the USB drive the computer will reboot here and we will see that we are booting a Toshiba M10 into Chromium which is essentially Chrome OS version 40 so it's actually a version ahead of what you get on a Chromebook and it looks like the exact same screen we had before but this time we have a trackpad our trackpad works and so does tap to click we'll select our Wi-Fi we'll type in the password which I skipped over in the video and continue and we will log in for the first time on this laptop the reason why you don't want to log in when you're booting from the USB is if you log in while booting from the USB it is no longer an installation USB it's the actual OS and there we go synchronizing my preferences and now that I'm in we can see here I've got an icon that looks like Chrome but it's blue instead of multicolored and we're gonna see it start to install my extensions and all of those wonderful things that we see get installed when you log into a Chromebook The Toshiba M10s work really well. I'm just going to go to cbc.ca and play a video here just to prove that the flash is working. Let's scroll down to a video. Just watch this video about Heartland. And I've turned the audio off, but you can see I can also adjust the volume. And there's the video playing, the flash video. You can see my extensions have started to pop up in the top right. Let me go to another website here, mathclips.ca. This uses an older version of Flash to run. Um, or I shouldn't say an older version of Flash, but it uses Flash to run different math games. And we can see that it's also working. And then I'll go to Pixlr, which is an online photo editor that uses Flash quite heavily to mimic Photoshop. And it runs just perfectly fine as well. I've used this uh, M10 
Chromebook stuff for all sorts of purposes. And uh, here I'll just sign out. We'll see what it looks like when I sign out. It runs a little bit of code on the screen, but then you get the login window again. Sorry about the autofocus on the camera. Et voila! And now I will shut down. And that is it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm sure you have questions. Watch the video a couple times. I did not want a 25 minute video, so I tried to go real fast.